Joining me at REIT World 2010 today is Marty Chico, Senior Managing Director of Evercore Partners and the 2008 winner of NARIT's Industry Achievement Award. Marty, let's start by looking at the IPO market. Are there any sectors where you expect to see more companies come in public? Well, I think, Matt, uh, you have a backup of some companies, as we saw last night as General Growth uh, repriced their offering uh, coming out of bankruptcy. You actually have a number of companies that uh, went private earlier in the cycle, whether it be Archstone or potentially New Plan, uh, Hilton Hotels, other companies along those lines, that I think that will be a majority of the pipeline of the IPO market coming forward. Uh, although we thought this wave would be a lot bigger than it has occurred to date, uh, you have seen some specialty type of companies, CoreSight in the data center space. Uh, there are a number of medical office buildings, but more niche type of real estate functions uh, that I believe will make up most of the pipeline. And how have the debt markets evolved, and, and have they gotten to the point where we're going to start to see transaction activity pick well, up? Well, they're certainly a lot better than they were a year and a half ago. Uh, and we have uh, the beginnings of a marketplace uh, reassembling uh, relative to the street and the banking market. Uh, there is available capital. The securitization market has begun to open up, uh, albeit nowhere near the record volumes that had occurred at the peak. Uh, there are signs of life in the in the market, and obviously in this interest rate environment, uh, you know the, the 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 work through of of the residual issues that have been built up at the banks uh, show all the signs that transaction volume will pick up a good bit next year. And this is the, here at REIT World, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of REITs, and, and over the course of their history, REITs have begun to gain more more share of institutional uh, allocations to real estate. What do you think it will take to, to see that percentage increase? By definition, I believe that the public market's percentage of ownership of the assets uh, will increase. And by definition, the pension funds, uh, as they allocate their capital to the real estate marketplace, I think the percentage will increase uh, as, a, as a pure number. However, I would suggest to you that uh, no matter how large the public market gets, there will always be a, a, a place in the portfolio for the pension fund community of real estate held in private forms, more than anything to cut down the volatility in their portfolio. Uh, and I think that's the balance that each of the particular pension funds look for. But as it pertains to transparency, quality, uh, the alignment of interest with managements, Clearly, the REIT vehicle has proven to be a superior investment. And you, you mentioned GGP. If we could just touch on that. They, uh, obviously, several other industries saw numerous bankruptcies. GGP was kind of the, the one here we saw in the REIT space. What does its, its reemergence and, and its offering yesterday, as you mentioned, kind of tell you about the REIT industry? Uh, well, I, I, I think it tells you a lot about the bankruptcy proceeding as well. It's, uh, it's uh, somewhat ironic that General Motors is also pricing an IPO coming out of bankruptcy tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, the news this morning was is that offering is well oversubscribed and is actually being increased in size and in price. Uh, it, it tells you that uh, the asset base within general growth were solid, pure real estate assets that, uh, albeit over leveraged, uh, and to a large degree uh, mismanaged relative to a balance sheet perspective, uh, that the solid nature of the real estate and the continuous, con continued ability for that real estate to produce cash flow uh, will always be valued in the marketplace. Great. Marty, thank you very much. Thank you. For more from REIT World 2010, be sure to visit REIT.com. I'm Matt Bichard.